Hey guys, I'm Maestro, and this is my beginner's guide to Shovel Knight and 80% speedruns. I, uh, there's, there's been a lacking of, of new runners, and uh, I'm thinking it's because they can't find a way to really get into it in a beginner sense, because everybody they're watching uses advanced stuff. So I wanted to show the ways that you can do this at a beginner level and still have a pretty good time. Um, you, you, you can with this game you can set your own level by what you buy basically like health and relics so I'm gonna be going through what is basically the main route with chaos orbs without phase lock it but I'm gonna be going over how you can what you would need to do to if you wanted to if you felt you needed the phase lock it which is fine and uh, all the different checkpoints that you need to break and money that you need to get and things like that and also ways to where it's not too much because a, a lot of people uh, are put off by the, by the fact that the old route used to break all the checkpoints in the beginning levels so you wouldn't be able to die but this will, this will be a little bit more uh, easier than that so you can uh, we'll be leaving some, so it's it'll be okay if you do die. And like that. So I'm gonna start with a little tutorial on on uh, the basics. So um, there's actually a great guide by Busta Wolf, um, uh, and I'll I'll have a link to his video for. Uh, for just movement, movement notches. There's three jumps to start off with. You have three different jumps. And I don't think most people know about that. So you need to learn your button presses for the different jumps because they really do matter. You got your short hops, mid jumps, and the full, full jumps. Now, next thing, swinging the shovel. You want to uh, be able to swing it to where you don't stop moving. See, if I do this and then I swing the shovel, I stop. See that? What you want to do is if you just hit both inputs at the same time, I will have I would have hit something on the ground. See, I'll, I'll demonstrate on that on that dirt pile over there in a sec. I just don't want to spawn the enemy at this moment. Um, so if you just start out by just pressing both buttons at the same time as you're walking by, like a dirt pile, you'll hit both. You'll hit it, and uh, the blocks, the dirt blocks, if you just lightly short hop and shuffle at the same time as you're approaching one, you'll hit both. If there's two sticking up on each other, you'll hit both. So that's also a great thing. Now, shovel jump canceling is a bit more a more of an advanced thing, which you'll have to practice, but it is definitely something that even a beginner level needs to be able to do. Um, basically, as you're coming down and you're shoveling, like that, you're gonna hit jump right as you land. Shovel right before you land, and then see how I jump right back up? This is how we stun lock Black Knight. Basically, I'm just hitting attack right before I land and jump right after. It just goes attack, jump, attack, jump, attack, jump. Now, if you're in a position to where you can just spam attacks as fast as you want, basically just mashing both attack and jump will get it done. You do need to slightly time the beginning of it so that you don't go like this. Because then I'm just attacking way up here. So, make sure you start at the bottom here. So just jump, and then... I'm 
the smashing attack and jump, and that's going to get a high level of attacks and you know, bosses, uh, mini bosses, things like that. You definitely want to utilize that. All right. That being said, we're just going to get on to it. So yeah, I just walked up to that, hit both attack and jump. Now I like to get all free money that I walk by. Because I'm greedy. Jump up the ladder. Now every ladder you come to, see this position? At this position, you can jump off of it. Now what you... See, you, you will, if I come up to this ladder, I don't want to just do this. See how much time it takes? I come up to it, I want to jump. Jump as, up, as high up as you can. Now every ladder, you don't want to just start walking off of. See how much Shovel Knight, when he starts walking, he has a startup. But if you jump, you eliminate that startup. See how I just start walking? And now if I jump, I instantly am at full speed. So you jump off every ladder. Well, except there's a couple exceptions. But almost every ladder, see him. <laughs> Alright. I probably should reset the circle. <laughs> uh, jump up it. Can't just continually go past that room. Uh, you, there is an optimal strat, and I'm not going to be getting into too many of the optimal strats because this is going to be mainly for beginners. When you do get to the point you want to get to the more to the faster strats, there's a lot of uh, guides like that. Um, Munchy Koopas has YouTube videos with a lot of more advanced strats, um, and also we're always available, uh, the community, to, to discuss anything. And just watching our PBs, watching our videos, you can see a lot of the, and if you need anything explained, we're always happy to help. Alright, so yeah, this will be covering mostly just basic stuff, though. But stuff that you still can get a good time with. It just won't be things that have a really high learning curve with. Now this room is something that you should probably learn. It's called Leap of Faith. There is a few frames you have to do that as you're walking. You'll, you'll get used to it as you go. It's not frame or pixel perfect. You have a few... You have a little leeway there. See, I'm not even touching these ladders, I'm just climbing up it. This room's a bit tricky to do fast. See how I just, like, kind of started that? Now this, I'm just spamming shovel and attack like that. Except that there's nothing there, so I can just go like that as I go. This, just I'm gonna walk up and hold down and forward, and that'll get it done. Unless the slime is mean. Also, a thing about pogoing, to make sure that you don't... If you've played this game enough, you probably realize this, but to make sure, if you want to pogo something, you, and you'll stay pogoing until you swing again. If I pogo this, I'm still pogoing until I swing again. So that's, that's definitely important. This I like to jump and poke over on during the screen transition. A lot of us, most people like to do that because it gets you in the right position. Short hop across this, then you can just regular jump. Now the, the best way to do this part right here. Wow, well, I already messed it up. The best way would be to pogo three times and then uh, make a little place right here, this would still be here, this top part would still be here, and then that makes it so you won't go too high when you pogo off this guy, see I'm going really high, it's just a faster way to get through it, so you don't just keep pogoing those guys, now this 
this is gonna be just like I showed you. Try and get a bigger one to start it out, so that you don't get hit by him. That's basically it. That will take some practice. Mash started things like that. Jump out of there so that you can get the quick movement. You have to visit the town first thing. But you just get right out of there. Mash start on the text. Alright, now this will be covering the orb route, the current orb, chaos orb route. There is a few different ways you can do this. You can what we're going to do is we're going to go to King Knight because this will be the optimal way to avoid the, the uh, little knight guy who pops up right here and can get in your way. Uh, the, one of the main RNG things from this run. We call him Duck Knight because his looks like it looks like his head shaped like a duck bill. So he looks like a knight that's a duck. Um, so yeah, if you're around us, you'll hear Duck Knight. That's what he means. Um, you can go to Spectre if you prefer it, and then you would have orbs for King Knight stage. Which it does actually save time, but you're going to run into Duck Knight more often, if that's the case. So as you see, at the start of every stage, you jump to get maximum speed. Now here is a cycle right here, which I'm not going to make. See that? It's a little cycle. You have to have uh, perfect movement to start the stage to make it. And while I'm doing this, I don't have perfect movement. Now, going to this, I'm going to jump like that. And I should have jumped as I hit the ground. You can get If you get perfect thing, if you break that as soon as you get there, you can get up here. That's also in Busta's tutorial video. Because you can also, from the ground, with the short hop, hitting both at the same time. But that's these. These will all take a lot of feel that you'll you'll get too. You want to try and get um, anytime you're landing with a shovel. These guys can get in your way. Anytime you're landing with a shovel, though, you want to jump though, so that you keep moving. These guys will get in your way a lot. Now, if you want the phase locket, you're going to be breaking the because what you're also going to need with the phase locket is probably a magic upgrade because of how much magic you'll be using. The phase locket uses eight magic. Now, if you are going to do that, you are going to want to break almost every checkpoint in the first few stages. Um, I will. I will point out which one that I would recommend leaving if you're worried about, you know, dying and stuff, you know. Now, do you would break that if you want the base locket. We're I'm going to just be going over the uh, locket list route and no magic upgrades. You would break that one. I did that little... I shoveled and jumped right away to get him. It was just faster to do it like that. To get past him. Instead of pogoing him, I would have gone up a little bit. Break that one. If you were gonna... If you're getting the shovel. If you're getting the... Now right here... With damage boost. That's the first damage boost of the game. Just turn around when he does that. And you'll go right past him. Now, I would leave this one, because this is a room you can die in. So I would leave that one, and it's also the, uh, it's cheap. This next one's not going to be so cheap. Right here, you can get past them. It's a required, you know, it's a, it's a pretty hard jump right here to get past them right here. But normally you could just damage boost the first guy and then just walk on. You don't want to you don't want to leave this one because 
it's uh, it's got more money in it. So if you were getting the face lock, you want to break that one. Now with this, you wait for the first one, jump over it, just go. You might want to hesitate there a little bit more than I did. This guy, you can jump on the ledge right here. I get by, and then you can pogo on him without getting hit if you get it right. All right, first boss fight. So you would break that one if you want to phase lock. King Knight uh, is a little tricky for beginners, um, for beginner speed run wise, I should say. Not, I mean, he's probably a really easy boss casually. Um, basically. You're going to be riding him with a pogo and slashing him on the ground, so a combination of that, and I'll show that. Alright, I'm going to show it a little better this time. It's basically for the first cycle there what you'd want to do. Be a little short because of, uh, I had to do a second try to show it a little better. It's a little tricky to learn that thing, and, you know, still mess it up all the time, actually, so. Basically, just hit him as he's jumping at you the first time, then pogo up, up to him. Now, there he is. There's Duck Knight. Now, if he gets in your way, what you're going to want to do is go to... Like, right now, if he was in my way, he'd be right here, because I want to go to the town. I would go over here, and then just leave immediately until he got out of my way. After about two times of doing that, it's faster just to go through it. Um, but you want to try and avoid them as best you can. When you don't have a really great, like, a really good time yet, it's not a huge importance to to go through them. To just get it up, just get them, just go through it because it's only like a few seconds to go through them. So you would go instead of that. We're gonna go for yeah. We're not gonna go there second because that's basically if you were just gonna get the that's <laughs> the, the no health upgrades which we're not gonna do in the beginner's guide. So we're gonna go to Spectre Knight. There's the jump at the beginning of it because I explain. Now these frogs. They can do a bunch of, they can do like a bunch of uh, different jumps and different jump heights and they can go whatever way they want. So this, that guy right there can get in your way pretty good. You just want to, you got to read them as you're coming up to them. Uh, you would break this one if you want to face lock it. This guy, jump and swing as soon as you get up to him like that, you're out, reset it. Try that again. Like that, jump and swing as soon as you get up to him and then pogo him. That's a little tricky right there to get that optimally. Work on that little thing. Jump over these guys. Try and grab those 50s if you can. But just keep moving otherwise. I would leave this one if you're uh, gonna get the face locket. I would leave this one because the rest in the level are too much money. They're all 500s. You can just pogo your way across that. This strat right here, just walk up to the wall and you'll spam jump and pogo. Well, that didn't work. I got hit, but I didn't spam it. <laughs> But if you spam it, if you just spam jump to Bogo, you won't get hit. Busy talking, not even doing what I'm saying. Okay. Wanna make sure you make this cycle here, jump over the beetle. You don't have to jump off those ladders, you'll still make it otherwise. That one can be tricky if he goes the other way, you get in your way. guy sucks too. Now you 
want to pogo this guy, you can get some health right here. Break the rest of these if you're gonna get the... Oh, actually we have to break that one anyway. Forgot. This one you have to break for the orb route. This one you actually do have to break. Jump up and slash in, kill him. Yeah, I forgot that's the first one you actually do have to break, even if you're not getting a phase lock in. Um, if you're not getting this one, you can, you can, if you're not breaking this one, you can get it if you want. Alright, so this guy I like to damage boost off of so I can get past the second guy. Pogo them because the faster one's a bit dangerous. Alright. We come up on the second boss here, Spectre Knight. Pretty much, you're gonna have a damage boost at the start of it. Um, and then you're gonna do the, the attack thing that I showed you with. Basically, the attack spam. Alright. Get those two hits in. Try not to hit him back right there. Now you, you take the hit off that. Now, as he's coming back, you wait. Then you hit him back there. And this is where the bad RNG comes in. It's, you want him to be the normal way, which is where he comes down on the left there. And if he doesn't, then you kind of just have to deal with it. So it's good that he got the bad RNG, because if it was the good RNG, you would have just come down and done the same thing as you did the first time. Now, with the dream sequence, it's probably best, until you're a little better, to just take the money from it. It's always helpful for whatever upgrades you want to get health-wise, and I'm going to buy a health thing too, so... Because to, I assume that most beginners should at this point. Kill these guys, and you can just jump like this to hit the... Um, the Duck Knights. There we go. So that's a good amount of money you can get right there. Grab this. Okay. Let's see if Duck Knight gets in the way for this. not gonna get in the way of this time. Okay. So, out of the town. So we'll buy one of these. And again, all health things are completely based on uh, how, whatever you feel comfortable with. You can just get the one that you just grabbed, but we're gonna get two. You don't want to buy more than one, though, because you don't have the money for that. Now, if you had gone the phase locker route, you'd buy one of these, then you'd buy the orbs. This, we're just going to buy the orbs. Now, in this wall right here, get the 200 and the uh, note because we're going to trade it in for high $500. If you had gone the phase locket, um, if you phase locker out, you'd want to buy one right here. So you'd have 40 magic. I recommend that to help there. Go on with until you feel more comfortable. 
from here we go to Mole Knight, because we want the Dust Knuckles as quickly as possible. Jump into him. Getting damage boost off him, it's pretty difficult though. Go this half way right there. I'm sure you've probably heard about the beetle skip, we're not gonna be doing that in this. And there's more money we can get in, in this little beetle part too. Take the bottom way. There's three hundred dollars right here. Only one fifty at the top. And you want to damage boost this guy unless you have the face locket. You don't need to break this one if you got the if you got the note and the two hundred in the in the town. Um, if you got the face locket. With, uh, that this this is only for face like stuff. We already have everything we need for the orb route, except for the the free checkpoints that you get automatically. Uh, damage boost him to get past that. There's two in Mole Knight that you're always going to get because they don't cost any time. Hit that on the bottom and jump across like that. Get that boost. Grab a couple of these. Come on. Base lock, it would be a good time here. Yeah, have it. Otherwise, damage boost. Alright, here's the dust knuckles. Switch back to orbs, because we're going to use orbs in a sec. Now here's one of the free checkpoints that doesn't cost any time because of this cycle right there. Well, it did because of how long I took, but it doesn't actually take any time to get it because the platform's not ready to get used yet. Now, right here, when you get on here, land on here, shoot those, and that'll take care of those, and you can switch to those knuckles. Right here, make sure that you don't waste any time hitting that because otherwise this platform won't be, in the, won't be ready for you to jump across right there. sure after you've done this you you swing so you don't <laughs> trigger that with the going. Now right here, just dust knuckle him twice. Here's another one that you break because of no time wasted. And cuz it's 750 fucking dollars. Try and wait till the second one falls before you hit that one open. Now right here. Dust, 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 dust. Jump to the little edge right here, then dust, dust. And there you go. Back to orb. Well, once you get past this, we're back to orbs. Now, Mole Knight fight. Throw two at the start of it. Hit, then pogo him. You can. Now throw orbs right there, right when he gets out. See how it followed him? And then you can just stand on the ground and shovel him until he's dead right there behind him. Yeah, the, after he comes by the third time, just throw the orbs over there at the wall. I had already thrown one accidentally, but it, and then they'll follow him if you get on that exact timing. There's Breeze, he can block you too. Never fight him because he'll spawn the other guys that come out. As long as you beat it in under an hour, uh, well at least get to the, the World 4 in under an hour, where the tower is, then you won't be stopped by any of these guys. It shouldn't be too difficult to get to the tower entrance in under an hour. And it, you know, if, even if you don't, then you don't even care about running into those guys anyway, because they're not really costing you that much time in the grand scheme of things. 
Alright, from here we would go to Plague Knight. A Plague Knight stage works on global timers. So, the, uh, the pots and the, um, fire things that go off by themselves are all on global timers. So it matters when you get to them. That's a risky strat, you probably should just wait for him there. Switch to orbs here. And just let him let it go on that guy, switch back. I just caught myself on the uh, lip there. If you just kind of hold forward there, I knew I wasn't going to make this cycle, but if you just hold forward there, there is a little piece of it that you can still stay alive on. But um, until you get a pretty good time, you shouldn't be worried too much about these cycles. I would wait until this first one goes up. And then jump over, jump under, and then get to here. Wait for that one. Definitely use the phase locket there if you're using the phase locket. This little part is tricky. First jump off and pogo this rat. You gotta get to the very edge though. Just keep going. This little part's tricky if you don't have the phase locket. See so you get hit a few times there. You can just pogo this guy. Well, I was too far ahead, but normally if you're just walking up to him, you can just pogo and it'll constantly kill him. Now for the mini boss. Drop a couple of those, switch to the dust knuckles. And turn around and just start doing the shovel cancel thing. Until he's dead. He's invincible during transition. Just keep following him until that. Grab the health if you want. Now wait for this first one to go down. And then you'll be able to make it across like that. Jump on the edge there there. Wait for that. Right here I did a little mess up. You wanna see this guy here? Um, kill him. Probably debated which way I wanted to show here. You can wait for that to go then jump up and damage boost to the second one and then just move on. Um, or you can wait for it to go jump. As it goes, and then go back across. That just takes another, another, you're just going to damage it backwards instead of forwards. But either way, you're going to get health back right there. Cross. Jump off the ladder and pogo him. Now right here, you can do a little skip. Can, turn around, make him jump, and then do that. Basically, by jumping, it made him jump. If you wait till him to get right here, so then he'll jump across. You want to back up a little bit over there, so that, uh, and then you want to just jump straight up. Wait, first, make him jump, and then jump straight up. Don't go at him like that, or you'll run into him. Just jump straight up, and then as he's as you're about to hit him, then you can go over. So just basically. Basically, and then you would get up there and then use that. If you have the phase locket, just phase lock it and then do it. Otherwise, go up the normal way. Try not to hit that, that guy. Wait a little second right there. Kill that guy. Throw some orbs there. Take care of him. Here's some health right here. For Plague Knight. Um, basically, he always wants to jump over you, and you kind of have to help manipulate that as best you can. With uh, mid jumps, is usually what you want to do. Basically, just going to be kind of riding him backwards as he does it. 
but once he gets to his later section, he is gonna have to shoot, you know, just be all over the place and throwing stuff, and you just wanna do as best he can. So jump there, so you can get closer to the side. Jump. See, that was actually a really good fight. I didn't even have to throw any uh, Chaos Orbs. But normally, he would get away from you, and probably would. Pro try not to use him until he gets away from you, though, so that you don't end up uh, wasting them when you do need them. Here we go to Treasure Knight. Bounce off that and knuckle up there if you want to. You can simply kill him and then knuckle pass. I would recommend jumping up there and knuckling these. Gives you some extra money. Jump up here and just spam jump in Pogo and you'll get past him. Those jumps. Try not to jump too high. You can just jump across here and then jump across. Walk across on here. And you can do that. And you can just avoid those guys. Right here, you're going to want to do a little pogo and then swing right there. And you just keep going by swinging. It's a nice little skip coming up with orbs. Pretty much, this, as you're going down there, you're going to hug the wall, and as the transition's happening, spam orbs. See how that worked? Now this mid-boss, we call it the 420 fish, because he's derpy. You don't want to ride the, uh, the chest. You'll have some issues if you try and ride the chest. I used it right there for one little try, just to rebalance myself. Now he takes 12 hits. We don't need the anchors to speed them. There's some health right there. Now, right here, when you go up, you want to hold up and right. You'll damage boost. Jump. Now, here is a thing called dirt skip. See this pile of dirt right here? Basically, position yourself right about here. And you swing and you pogo it. And hold up and right after you pogo it so you can grab it. Look at that. Ride your way over there. Now this guy, when you get down here, you want to swing and hit him, and then dust knuckle him four times. It's important that you hit him first, though, because you can only dust knuckle four times. Make that anchor go. You can get that checkpoint if you want to. Jump across like that. Kind of avoid these and just make your way across this, the saved way. I'm not going to show you the fast way. It's very difficult. There's some health down there if you want it. Now, Treasure Knight, when you have the Chaos Orbs, is a pretty easy boss. Basically spam him and spam the Shovel Cancel attack. Over his anchor. Just like that. If he does go up, 
you can poke them up there, but you don't want to kill him up there because that will uh, cost a lot of time when he floats down. If you feel you need more money here, you can uh, kill these Duck Knights in the dream by uh, Dust Knuckling helps the best really. You slash him once and then dust knuckle him. Mainly you just want to get hit. You want to try and... When you're, when you're trying to kill yourself, you want to get hit by the strong hits, not by this bird or anything. Or by the chompy. And you want to try and die positioning yourself under the... Uh, see, right under Shield Knight, so she'll, it'll, be, it'll still register that you caught her. Save some time. Your little zing. Now if you want this... You can get this. I'll show you where you can go, how you can still cash it in without costing too much time. We are going to go to the outpost. Those guys have been nice for this time. We're going up here. Purchase the Conjurer's Coat so that we'll be able to spam more magic. This will make you get hurt more, so you, this is another time where you want to see how much health you'll want to get. And I'm, sure I'm going to show you how you can go back and get more this fast, too. Get the Conjurer's Coat. Now we're in purple. And we're going to get the Charge Slash. It's very helpful for the bosses. Yeah, you, normally we just leave right here, but if you want to go back for health, you can do this after uh, the third set of bosses too with uh, that health too if you want. You can take this back right here, it'll give, send you right back, and you can get more health if you want it. And then it'll send you back, and then you can just leave just like this. You can also take this after these sets of bosses if you want to get back that way too. Now we're going to go to Propeller Knight because we want the Propeller Dagger as quickly as possible. Dust knuckle these guys. Here's a nice little skip. Basically, just by uh, um, basically what I did there is I just went like that. I landed and went like that. Pulled with them right off right the back, just made it up there, and then you can dust knuckle past this guy. Jump right on the end there, you can dust knuckle past him. Now, with this guy right here, propeller, just shoot those right at the apex, and you can get him. We call those guys Jawas, because they look like Jawas. And they're a pain in the ass. Jump and shoot that right when you get there, and you'll kill those, those guys. You can also get that if you need it. You don't have enough for the uh, propeller yet. I'll shoot these. Get down here. And that's a pretty standard way to kill that guy. There's faster ways, but that's a standard way. That checkpoint, if you uh, if you need it, go right ahead. This uh, it's pretty scary, and you can die in the uh, propeller dagger room. So if you want to get it, you can get that. You can uh, pogo off him, or you can just jump off the edge there. Now you have to go up, and then back down so you'll have the... So you can get through here. Do you need this money right here for it? This is available for you too. This is the uh, 
of course, the pinnacle speed run thing right there. You want to make sure that you don't jump when that thing's blowing down or not. I got past it. That's the normal cycle of it. Now I'm going to wait for these guys. And then you can just shoot right across there. Right here, here's a nice little thing you can do. Um, the normal way is just to uh, wait on that thing for it. But if you just... I'll show you. You jump. When you're falling off, basically, as you're falling off that first one, use a dagger and then press the left on uh, press left for the uh, relic switches, quick relic switches, just like that, and you'll switch to dust knuckles, and you'll go right through those blocks. It's not too difficult. Um, just will take just a little practice. This room can be pretty tricky. It's called the triple Jawa room. You jump up like that, you can. You can uh, pogo the first one and go past him. That's pretty tricky though, you can mess it up pretty easily. I got hit in it. Wait till this guy blows you. Kill him. Some magic in here. Can you just wait right here for a sec? And when that block starts to show up, then you can go across. Here's some cycles. As you're falling off that one, you can go ahead and do it a little early. But as you're falling off, you can do it. Pogo this rat. Wait over here. And go right past that. Wait for this one to go. Now, as this one, just jump and then do that. Now, the, uh, the best way to do this one, the most safest way, is wait for that, and then when it starts going back up, you can just tow it over. We'll get past that, no problem. But if you want that checkpoint, you can wait for that, too. Now, when you start coming down... Yeah. Best way across there. I'm going to show you a pretty good strat, you can get this health if you want to, for killing Propeller Knight. Um, basically, it, uh, it's, it, it uses a mechanic where he will go left if you wait in the very last hit of him uh, while he's slashing at you to the last moment. He'll go, that will make him trigger him to go left for some reason, I don't know why. But, and that makes it for a, a slightly easier fight. This is still takes some practice. I'm going to parry along with him here. I waited in that last hit there. Now you can slide over. I'll just wait on this little line that I'm on. Hit him with a charge slash, and then pogo right after. See that little line marks it? Put your back foot on that line. Get out of those faster. Here we're gonna go to Tinker Knight because we want the gear before we go to Polar Knight. So we're using a lot of daggers now. From here, jump. Dagger way over there. You can jump over this guy, dagger. Here, switch to dust knuckles. And that'll make you invincible for that little gear right there. Take care of him. Just like that. You'll be able to get over there in time. Now these guys are random, so you just gotta avoid them. Jump over this first one so you have it when you come back.
it's the tricky room. Make sure you switch back to the dagger right there. Dagger out once, jump, and jump off that. That's a really tricky room if you don't have the dagger. One of the hardest rooms in the game, if you know. Here you can switch to the gear. Just get up a charge slash to hit that guy. That he might be in your way. That little rat right there might be in your way. So just avoid him. A charge slash again. Take care of him. This guy will always jump over you. But don't worry about him. That rat sometimes stays over there, which can be annoying gears coming at you. You're going to want to dust up all these guys. There's some health right here if you need it. Dust knuckle this guy. Or pogo him, but you might get hit if you go for the pogo. One dust knuckle, then pogos on that on him. Sauto scroller can be annoying if these sign daggers are mean to you. Not too bad. Across. There's a big magic for you. I just like to skip it, just because just to get up there as fast as possible. There's also a health right over there. Best thing to do right there is just do uh, two slashes and then a pogo is the fastest way to get it down there. Now, this little guy is annoying, but you can just kill him with one gear. For this one now, you're going to climb his things and just... The gear still does one damage to him if you if it's uh, active. Just shoot one out. Pogo. Avoid that missile. And that just, ooh, and that just... Normally that missile wouldn't hit you right there. Unless it got some sort of bad cycle, but normally that wouldn't hit you. Anyway, if you fall off, pogo that right there and then avoid the missile. To do the same thing. Throw one up there. You can finish him with a charge slash. how long I've taken to show these things. Now these guys are spawned. So ignore these guys. <laughs> Alright, here we go to Fortnite. A little skip on the first screen. Just like that. I'm supposed to get by that. Standard stage. You're, doing, you're always doing something. You just get over there, break this block, switch to gear, and then immediately throw it out and jump. See, I got hit because I didn't move fast enough. That's how fast you gotta do it. You gotta. It's at the cost of that checkpoint, but what you gotta do jump over that, jump up there, and then go right over him. Switch to the knuckles. Wait a sec. Pull him twice. Make sure you swing after that last one so you don't. You can make it right there if you do it at the right timing. Pogo him, jump over, just like that. See, it doesn't take too long to get to that. And you can skip these things, luckily, by doing that. You have to use this one. Now. Make sure you don't go too low here, you'll get hit by the, uh, the spear.
You don't want to waste too much magic. Now, right here, as soon as you see the top guy throw one, you can go across. There's also, you can just damage boost him too, but I wouldn't recommend it until you're feeling pretty good about it. There's some health right there if you want to get it. Just avoid that bomb. But you can just hold up and right there, and you'll damage boost right up to there. You walk up right here, you can jump and do that. Go right through this. Alright, this this is tricky right here. See, like that. Normally I would have some magic to get past this, so I could use some uh, daggers, but I don't have any, so you just make sure you get to the very edge before you jump over there and pogo or you'll get hit. Normally you can just pogo the first one then just dagger across. Uh, jump over here, make sure you don't press up. Make sure you don't press up too soon, you can uh, pogo that guy. If you press up too soon, you'll grab the grab the first one. You'll grab the first letter, and you don't want to do that. For this guy, slash him. Pull go across there. Now, throw out a gear. Get up a charge slash. Take care of that guy. I hear some health up here if you want it. Polar Knight, pretty much just gonna be throwing out orbs and shovel canceling, just like just like Treasure Knight. Try and avoid these things, get out of the way. You want to make sure you know which way he's going there. He'll always go where there's more, more, um, more room to go. He'll always go where there's more room. So try and position yourself so you're on the big side. So you'll be on the same way he goes. And for this stream, if you are still wanting more money, which you may, depending on what you want to buy, it's your, it's your run. You can buy whatever you want. Um, you can dust knuckle through all these guys to get a lot of money. But otherwise, it's pretty easy to die in it, which is good. And I'm like the second dream, which takes quite a while. This guy obliges. Makes it easy to position yourself. And you can get this too if you want it. And if you want, you can uh, you can go right back in the uh, the shortcut thing over there. Send you back so you can get that extra help. Let's see these guys get out of my way. Yeah, they did. Normally they wouldn't spawn until you know because I'm just taking my time explaining this, but they spawn after an hour of gameplay. Unless you fight Reese, so don't fight Reese. All right. Alright, this stage has a lot going on with it. Hold with this guy and just go across. Up there. Now you always want to use the rat to skip this room. Kind of lure him. Just make your way up there. If you don't get it, go back down and reset him. Pogo one and go across here. boost there, and then use the dust knuckles. Right here, you can jump on this one, and dust knuckle across. Make sure you don't fall off there. Crusher section. You can make it through here, and this is just a single cycle. Now wait for it to be up enough for you to dagger, jump and dagger through. You don't want to bonk on it. These guys will jump over you. You time it right. Poke off these guys. You can also poke them if it hadn't come up yet. Here's a nice little skip. Just like that. Similar one here. Jump 
Jump and hit that one. Pogo off that samurai. Go right across. Alright, and here's the dark room for this level. Pogo and go across. Well, you want to make it so you don't get hit by them. Now you can pogo this guy up here. Go in between there. Now here's a Jawa coming up. Who this the best thing to do is to jump off and go right into him. Even though I got hit that time, normally you won't get hit, but it's still I lived through it though. Now, the last Black Knight fight, you likely will not be able to stun lock him because it's a very tight window. So if you save some daggers, you can quickly dagger him when he gets out of it. And then there's a good strat for when he goes into the flying section too. If you have enough daggers, you can do the whole thing, but you shouldn't though. Now before he starts, you just start daggering him. Now, get up on him. Charge slash. Just get right up on him. Just like that. Wait to start hitting pause until he's done cheering. You'll have the urge to hit it before then. You'll send a pause in the game. The boss rush section is coming up. And there's a tough little level leading up to it. Dagger across, dagger across. Make sure you swing your shovel, don't jump too high here. There's a little cycle with these guys. You just pull right there. Charge a slash, hit him. Really safe with these guys. Switch to the knuckles. Spam that. Now there's a perfect way to get through here. That'll take some practice. Just gotta stop, stop spamming it in the right time, basically. There's some health right here if you need it. Now here's a good skip right here too. That guy can kill you pretty easily if you don't spam it right. Now you jump up here. Try and wait for that first... See, I got hit there. Try and wait for that first Jawa to stop or he might blow you out of the way and that can be really bad for you. This ladder right here has killed me a few times. Make sure you're off of it before you jump. Do not jump when you're anywhere near that ladder. You could just fall to your death. This uh, section has a few different ways that can be done. And nope, not gonna get you, sorry. Just spam your shovel across there. Uh, jump and the attack and jump inputs at the same time. We're just gonna wait for this guy to come down. I'm gonna show you the safe way to do this because it doesn't change any amount of time. Wait right here. Same thing, we're waiting for this guy. Try and jump up there, go across here, get your health. These have random things in it. Alright, boss rush. Treasure Knight the same as before. Try not to get it by his anchors.
Right, and after every fight, you want to get yourself to the middle. Dagger if you have to. Polar Knight is always one of the first three. Alright, with this one, you can do a slingshot. Hit him from behind, just like that. Just like this, slingshot him. And don't shovel cancel this time. Yeah, I didn't get to the health in time. You usually want to do that, though. Polar Knight's always one of the first three, though. Everybody else is random, though. Always make sure you get to the center, though. Make sure you manage your magic. Now, here is a way you can do this. That's the quick kill. If you don't get it, just get yourself over to the side out of the way of the bombs. Don't let the bombs kill you. And then just get to them as best you can after that. That's definitely something you, that you're going to want to work on, that quick kill for propeller, because he can be a real pain if you don't get it. It's not too difficult. It's just the timing that you got to get down. And Tinker is just the same as last time. And you can finish him with a charge slash too. All night. You wanna slash and pogo? This was actually a really bad fight, but basically it's just like the other time. really bad for a uh, plague bite fight, actually, because you want to have magic. But savor your uh, your health versus plague. And then just chase it down, best you can. I think King Last is fine. Only thing different here is you have a charge slash now. And just like that. Manage your magic a little better than I did during that, so. So you don't want to not have magic when it gets to plague. Basically, I screwed up the Mole Knight fight, though. It's just like the other one knows what you want to do. Don't save treasure, because he sucks. And you can also, uh, if you have any magic left, yeah. Definitely use the daggers to get out of here, if you have any left. Alright, and two final things. Actually, the safest way through these blocks. Everybody's got their own way of doing it, but I'm showing you mine. Land on the second one. Jump, jump. Pogo, pogo, pogo. Pogo. And then you're gonna pogo this last one, so you pogo right over that. Do one dagger. And that will get you over to the thing. Right here. From that top one right there, you can dagger across. Switch to gear. Dance. So this isn't the fastest, of course, with strap that I'm going to show you for Enchantress. The good one to use. Throw one orb. Get across. Get ready for charge slash. Throw two orbs. You want to hit all those. Try and get her as best you can while she's doing the dives. You can also snipe her too when she's like that. Avoid these. You want to try and make sure that it gets the thing back. You want to get the floor back.
and that's it. Now, if you got magic left, switch to gear. Ooh, I'm way over there. There'll be a faster way for this one too, but I'm going to show you a safer way. You want to get it done, you want to make sure you get up there. Now she will always go whichever way she jumped the first time. So this means a bad hand. Jump over these. Get up there. You gotta hit her eight times. Jump up there, pogo her. Like that. If she goes for the lower platforms, that means there will be a hitbox when she gets down, so you want to jump the pogo. If she goes for the higher platforms, stay there, charge slash her, and then go up on her because there won't be a hitbox right under her. But always start right under her so that you can make the decision based on whichever one she's going to go to. You can also charge slash pogo her, but you can jump charge slash pogo her if she goes for the smaller one too. You can always do that combo if you're good at it. And that is, uh, that's it. There's a lot of different ways to fight both those Enchantress things. So, that is it. I, uh, I hope that uh, this was helpful to you. So if you have any questions about anything, just uh, you can uh, you can do it on YouTube on this video, or you can on my Twitch, Maestro two two seven. Um, just uh, message me on there. I'm always available. Um, and there'll be some links to some other some more advanced things and the Busta's thing on movement too, which I covered some of. So. I hope this gets more players, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.